Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q4 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 84, Minimum Replacements to Sort Their Way. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. So, yeah, um, the big part about this is that this is a greedy solution. And you think about it as non-decreasing order um, and a minimum number of operations. Um, Keep one, the the property that you have to consider is that when you break apart two numbers, what you basically are doing is that you make the numbers smaller, right? And what I mean by that is that there's no way to make numbers bigger. I mean, all of it, this this seems obvious, but then the next it leads to the observation that because you can only make the numbers smaller, you have to do it in a greedy way. Because meaning that if you have given this uh, away. There's no way to make it better other than to, uh, like, that means that we have to figure out this nine, right? And you want to greedy in two ways, right? And, and one is the minimum number of operations, but the second is to maximize the first number, right? Meaning that, okay, you have a nine, you know, meaning that you have a nine, you want to split it into, you know, uh, the last number is three, so you have three nine three. The, uh, the, you have three is fine, and then you see the number nine, and and you know that the biggest number that could be is three, right? So that means that now you want to split it into well, in this case, three three three. But let's say you have an eight. Well, what happens? Well, you also you know that the last number has to be a three, and the first number. Well, you have no choice, but you know you try to maximize it. And why do you maximize it? You maximize the first number because you want the next number after that to be, um, you know, like the bigger it is, the least work you have to do later. Given the same number of moves, because if if you have to do more moves to get it, then um, this is the part that I wasn't super sure super sure on, which is that if you can do more moves a little bit. Um, no, because, so that's the thing, right, is that if you want to make more moves here, now that I think about it, I think I said it wrong. If you want to make more moves, this is an A, but you want to make more moves, that only leads to suboptimal configurations because that means that the numbers will have to be smaller, right? Or this number has to be smaller or maybe the same, but at the very least smaller. So that's why in this way, um, to minimize this, uh, we will get the biggest number to in the front. And because of this property, greedy is the way to go. Um, to recap, you, you know, you want to split it into chunks such that the first number is the largest and also that the last number has to be at, at most three. And you get that by just div divide it as many ways as possible um, or as few ways as possible with the max that it is three. And the formula there is just by rounding it um, that's pretty much it. One case that I was thinking about, but I got wrong, was something like uh, like this, where, uh, or maybe say um, four, or uh, yeah, let's say three, right? Like three nine seven, for example. I, I I made a mathematical error, and I thought that this would convert it to two seven seven or something like this, um, and that was basically why I got it wrong, uh, my one wrong answer. But other once I fixed that, um, yeah, that then it's good. Um, but yeah, and this is basically the f the idea is that um, we and I kind of have you know helper things here, which is looking at the previous element and the current element. Um, basically, if the number it is bigger than the last number, then you have to change it. Um, and yeah, and the, that's just by a greedy logic that we kind of already went over. And yeah, the num this is the number of partitions that we have, which means that we need count minus one cuts or whatever it's called operations. But yeah, but this is just round up. Uh, so what is this? I get this question a lot, so maybe I'll go over this very briefly. But this is just basically um, yeah, and I actually wrote this a little bit awkwardly because usually I write it this this other way. So maybe that let me write this. Um, but basically, this is just p divided by c round up. This is this is equivalent to this, but in an integer way, so I don't have to deal with weird floating point math. And you can kind of sh um, prove to yourself that this is the case because, and this is just by exhaustion basically. If p mod c is equal to zero, then then what happens? Well, this is just 
um, you know, this is going to be perfectly, you know, this number is going to, um, then it's equal to P over, over C plus P, uh, C, C minus one over C. And of course this rounds down to zero and this is going to be a, the same number. So, so this is just P over C, right? Um, and then if P mod C is greater than zero, then, then, um, Then yeah, then P over, oops, over C is still going to P over C, but then here, this this part is going to did I mess this up again? Hmm. But yeah, uh, I think you can put well, well you can separate them out. This that's why, but um, that means that plus C minus one. I I confuse myself with the proof, uh, but yeah, but that means that this number. Um, is going to be so that means that this mod c is going to be greater than one uh, or one or greater and this mod c is going to be well c minus one so that means that together it creates almost like a rollover so that means that together it's going to be equal to uh, p dot c plus one right so that's basically the idea and that's why this formula um, is equal to this ceiling thing um, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then here, to make it easy for my calculation, I just set the previous number to this p divided by k. And this is good because now if, again, maybe in a similar logic, uh, if p mod count is equal to zero, then this is just, you know, you have this like nine is equal to three, three, three cases. Every numbers are the same, right? So then this should be good. If p mod count is greater than zero, then basically you just have, you know, like, uh, what, basically, you're going to distribute it in a way such that the you know it could be something like this, could be something like this. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just that the first number is going to be this number, um, you know, minus one. But you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, cool. And then at the end, you return the total number of cuts. Like I said, I made a silly mistake, but oh, I didn't. It's silly because I kind of got the formula and then I got it in my head and then I just kind of skipped out on the math and used my gut when I should have just did the math and spent an extra minute instead of uh, the five minute penalty uh, that I had here. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what I have for this one. This is, as you can see, this is going to be linear time, constant space, uh, I guess linear space actually. Um, but you don't, well, the way that I did is linear space because I modified this so that I don't have to worry about it. But you can actually do this live, right? Meaning that you could you keep keep track of only one variable and stuff like this, almost like uh, similar to Fibonacci, but not really. But you just keep track of you know, and then you just rotate the last two numbers that you keep track of, like a two pointed thing. So, and in that case, it's going to be all of, um, all of one space. So I didn't do it that way. But yeah, whoo, that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. I misread that problem. Okay. Increase any element with two elements sum to it. Hmm. Okay. You want to make it non decreasing? What does that mean? We can only split it apart, which means that we can only make numbers smaller. Is it DP? Mm -hmm. Because we can only make numbers smaller, we have to do it in a greedy way. Right. Is it even true? Let's see. Well, if we have say nine and three, is that always possible? I guess technically it is because if we have eight and three. Then you have to split it to two, three, three, and then you have to go to the previous number and then split that to one, two, and then oh, is it greedy? I guess in that sense it is greedy. 
So, hmm. All right, let's give it a go. This is going to be one of those problems that I can totally have like a lot of errors. through this way. <coughs> now we want to modify num sub i, right? I'll make i sub 1 and 2, because now i run whole system. So we divide it. There's tens of nouns, so we have to be a little smart about this formula. Mm -hmm. So, I want to make operation can be in fewest operation in general can we do query in fewest generate <sighs> because I, I mean I have a greedy idea that will work but I don't know if it returns the minimum number of steps um, I say we have eight three three eight three we have seven three 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 one two one three 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 and then now you have the one, two, two, because then now you can have one, two instead. So you do want, so how do you split it in a way such that, uh, can I do binary search? Well, I guess it is the same because every number before that is going to have to be the same anyway. So, mm, maybe that's fine. Previous, let's see what's going on. Let's try to make it easier. Typo. Do we get every number? We have every number. No, this isn't quite right. Okay. Okay. So let's say we have these counts. I don't know if this is right, to be honest. But okay. Um. So let's say we have split 9 into 3, so this is actually just minus 1, I think, but above 7 into 3 components, then we have 2, 2, 3, right? And it, it's just you code 2. Be true. Uh, it should be. Uh, what am I doing? It should be 
will be the current minus one unless it is exactly the same, right? If That's not good. Uh, did I do numbers wrong? If this is the case, that's what I mean. Hmm. Two and zero. Should I go low? What should be the answer? Let me see, right? It should be two and then three. Okay, it is three. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Let's give it a go. Ah, okay. I don't know how to do it. I, I had a feeling this was wrong, but I didn't know how to do it. Um, I was hoping. Maybe it's DP instead. And expect them to six back at four. That's really rough then. Uh, that means that it's just wrong by a little by something. Hmm. We're 21, 19, 17. Convert six is good. Seven what would we convert six seven, seven to? Oh man, this is really wrong then. Um, idea should be mostly right, but make part of it is wrong. Okay, six, we would convert it to three and four. I thought I've thought about this one, but and then this is just three. Um, hmm. This part is wrong, so we convert seven into two. Um, let's see, what am I doing wrong? We want to convert if this. Is, this number should be all right. We want seven into two, right? Seven into two is previous. Okay, now this is right. Two, this is three, four, three. Okay. Okay, I kind of knew that one, but thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Let me know what you think about this contest. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.